This story is called Gordy's Wonderful Day. Gordy woke up in the morning, ready to tackle the day. He had a little bit of schoolwork to do. Gordy loved homeschooling. He was so glad that he could just do school when he felt like it, and he could wake up when he wanted. And he could help Mommy and Daddy with other things around the house. So after breakfast, Gordy washed his face, brushed his teeth, and got on with his schoolwork. But he hit a problem that was particularly hard. It was a fraction problem, and he couldn't figure it out. Gordy was getting really grumpy because he hated asking Mommy and Daddy for help. He wanted to do it himself and get it right. Oh, you don't get grumpy, Gordy. You have to ask for help. Gordy thought very hard, and he thought, I'm sure I can find the answer myself, but I don't remember how to find the answer to this problem. Gordy was just about to call Mommy and Daddy for help when he remembered something Daddy taught him. Whenever you have a problem, you should pray about it, no matter what it is, whether you're grumpy at something or at schoolwork or you're planting seeds and you want to know something, anything, any problem that you ever come across, you should always pray. And if it doesn't work, you can still pray again. If that doesn't work, you can ask for help. Mm-hmm. So, Gordy prayed, Dear Lord, I don't know how to do this fraction problem, but you do. And I've learned it before, but it's been a while and I can't remember. Please bring back to my memory all the things that I learned about fractions so I can do this problem easily. Thank you for always being there that I can talk to you anytime I want. In Jesus' name, amen. When Gordy opened his eyes, he looked at the problem and he still wasn't sure. I think I'll just skip this one and go to the next one, and then at the very end when I finish the rest of my work, I'll come back to it. If I still can't remember, I'll ask for help. Gordy zoomed through the rest of his work. It was very easy, and he enjoyed doing the problems. Then he came back to the problem he couldn't figure out. And, do you know what? He just looked at it and started doing it without even thinking. And then when he was almost finished, he realized, hey! I couldn't remember how to do this a little while ago, and now I'm just doing it without even thinking. God must have brought back to my memory all the things that I learned. Gordy immediately said, Thank you, God, for reminding me. I'm so glad that you reminded me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gordy pretended to jump in the air and give God a big hug. He thought it was a bit silly because God <laughs> is everywhere. But he was pretending God was just his size and he could give him a big hug. Now, Gordy was ready to go to the beach. And Daddy was, and Mommy was, and so was Baby Melody. Off they went, walking in the beautiful warm sun. They could smell the fresh beachy air, a little bit salty and a little bit fishy. But Gordy loved the smell of the sea. When they got to the beach, it was time for Gordy to look for stones. He wanted to find new treasures all the time. Gordy thought, I, I think I want to pray first before I look because I want to find something very special. And I know God loves to know everything I'm doing and he wants me to have the best. So I'll just pray I find a nice stone. Dear Lord, you made all these stones on the beach and you know every single stone that's here. I'd really like to find an extra special one today. Can you please help me know where to go to look for my special stone, which way I should go, and where to find it? Thank you, God, for listening to me, and thank you for making all these beautiful seashells and rocks that we enjoy so much. Amen. Off Gordy went to play. He went a different way than he normally went. Usually he went to all the big rocks on one side, but this time he just went to all the little rocks 
that were a little bit boring. As he was walking along, something sparkly caught his eye way far away on the beach, and he thought it was probably a piece of sea glass because of how the sun was shining off of it. When he got to it, he picked it up and looked at it. It wasn't a sea glass. It was a solid stone, and it was a solid golden color stone. Oh, this is beautiful. It was a very flaky. It would flake off if you pressed it very hard. This is like pressed sparkles, he said. It was only a very small stone. It was the size of his thumb. Gordy picked it up and took it back to Mommy and Daddy and showed them. Ooh, this is very nice, said Daddy. I think you could crush this up and make sparkles with it if you wanted. Oh, yes, said Gordy. I want to make my own homemade sparkles. Gordy went home and gave it a good pounding with Mommy's rolling pin. Uh, actually, Mommy didn't let him have her rolling pin. She said, go put it in a bag and then use another stone to crush the top of it. Gordy banged the top of it with another stone while it was inside of a bag very gently because he didn't want to smash the whole thing. He only wanted a few little bits so he could use them in his craft project tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It was perfect. Just a few little bits came off and they were all smushed and sparkly. This is perfect. It's like I have as many sparkles as I want. Whenever I want more, I come and smash more off. Gordy loved his stone, and so did baby Melody. Sometimes they were fighting for it, both of them. Mommy said she had to have it sometimes, and then she would put it back, and that's exactly what happened. Gordy was trying to teach baby Melody to share, but he knew that he was the one that had to be sharing with her first if she was going to learn sharing, because she watched everything he did. Gordy was really annoyed sometimes, because baby Melody at the table was throwing food because she had seen Gordy throwing food other times when Mommy wasn't around. It was very bad and Gordy wished that baby Melody wouldn't remember everything that he did. So he was making a really big effort to always do things that were good and helpful and helping teach baby Melody good habits. And that was the end. Gordy loved his stone and he loved sharing it with baby Melody too. And that's the end of the Gordy story.